Welcome back to UECAS. In this video, we'll be enabling live reload of C++ code in Unreal Engine 5 in Visual Studio. With our C++ project open, go to Menu, Edit, Edit Preferences. From there, we could change our source code editor. However, for this video, we'll be keeping it with Visual Studio. Next, go to the Live Coding menu under General. Here, we can enable the Live Coding Hot Reload functionality. Once enabled, we'll get the live coding window, which will allow us to restart the editor and will handle all of our C++ code change recompiles. Currently, Live Reload supports changes made to gameplay implementation code, specifically functions within the CPP file. This means that any changes made to a class's private variables, function declarations, constructors, or destructors, along with any macros, like U function macros, still require a full recompile. To ensure Live Reload is working, let's make a simple change to the cursor location within our ue 5 test HUD CPP file. In the Draw HUD function, let's move the Y position down the screen and set it to 0.9. We just enabled Live Reload, let's shut down the editor, and then relaunch the editor via Visual Studio's local Windows debugger. This will allow Live Reload to work properly. Once restarted, we see the cursor has moved down the bottom of the screen. Now, let's change the cursor back to the center of the screen by changing the Y value back to 0.5. Then press Ctrl, Alt, F11 to recompile and Live Reload without having to recompile the entire project. Once Live Reload is complete, we can see the cursor has moved back to the center of the screen as we wanted without having to recompile the entire project. So with Live Reload, we can enable now rapid iteration on gameplay functionality and tweak it until it feels right instead of having to recompile the entire editor in-game each time we want to test new tweaks.